In this Adobe Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly adjust white balance and also how to precisely adjust white balance on images you're not sure of. First, when you open up an image in Photoshop, it will be a locked background layer. Simply double click on the layer to unlock it. Now you can add filters. I recommend using adjustment layers. You can click on this icon on the bottom and then you can add an adjustment layer such as curves. You can then use the eyedropper to pick what you think should be white. As you can see, sometimes this works great, like this piece of white paint is probably pretty white, or I could change with the gray eyedropper, but it's not always perfect and we might not get the right tonal range. So how can we do this more precisely? So I'm going to delete this adjustment layer and show you a better way. So here we have our original image. I'm going to create a new layer by clicking the plus icon at the bottom of the layers panel. Once I have this layer, I'm going to go to edit, then fill. For the contents, by default, it will say foreground color. I'll click here and make sure I choose 50% gray. Select OK. Then I'm going to change the blending mode of this layer. At the top of the layer panel, you'll see normal, then choose difference. Now I'm going to add an adjustment layer to this layer by clicking the symbol at the bottom, and I'm going to add the adjustment layer of threshold. Then I'll drag all the way over to the left, click inside the threshold level adjustment, and then just type up on your keyboard until you see a black band. So I can use this band or this band. These will be the 50% gray areas of the image. Then go get your eyedropper tool. If you hold shift with your eyedropper tool, you can click inside and it will leave a marker. It's hard to see, but there's a marker there. And if I close these panels, and then I hide these layers, you can see this marker. Now, if I click on the original layer and I add my curves adjustment layer, I can click on the middle eyedropper, click inside this little marker, and that will be perfect 50% gray. Now we know this image is white balanced. And now I can go back and I can make my curves adjustments however I want, knowing that I have proper white balance on my image. This allows you to quickly adjust white balance on your image when you're not exactly sure what the original colors of the image were supposed to be. Let's see that on another image. Here we have an image of a stool that has probably some fluorescent lighting on it. So let's do the same procedure. I'll double click on it, unlock the layer, then I'll create a new layer. I'll select edit, then fill, 50% gray, say okay. Then I'll change the blending mode to difference. Once again, I'll add a threshold adjustment layer. I'll drag this over to the left, click in here, type up until we have some nice dark bands. So this will be a great spot here or this spot. Use your eyedropper, hold shift, click. Then we can hide the layers. So you can see how that's basically gray. Then I'll click on the original layer, add an adjustment layer of curves. Click the center eyedropper, click inside my target, and there we go. Now we have a perfectly white balanced image that doesn't have that cast from those weird fluorescent lights. And now we can go ahead and make our adjustments to our channels and make the image look the way we want it to be. This works on most images where you have any kind of 50% gray in the image, but you're not exactly sure where that 50% gray is. Hopefully you can use these techniques in Adobe Photoshop to quickly adjust white balance in any image with curves and adjustment layers.